we don't care what anybody says. We don't care how many people dismiss it out of hand. Oh, you're crazy. We think the fact that there are objects floating around in our atmosphere and apparently outside it that are not of human origin, but are that it clearly intelligently controlled is a huge story. In fact, it's hard to think of a bigger story. And I know it's not about January 6th, but it's important and it has extraordinary implications for all of us. Scientists have now detected mysterious radio signals coming from space. What does that mean exactly? We don't know. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physicist and one of the people who's been paying closest attention to this and one of the most knowledgeable on this. He joins us to explain. Thanks so much for joining us. So what, what do you think this is or what could it be? Well, these are called FRBs, fast radio bursts. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. They generate more energy than a billion suns. The energy and radio frequencies are so great that eventually the entire universe will be aware of this one explosion. And then the question is, what drives these things? Colliding black holes, neutron stars being gobbled up? Well, your guess is as good as mine, but some people, some people believe in renegade theories that perhaps there's a design to some of these things. Do, do they seem to be behaving in a way that suggests a design, an intelligent design? Well, first of all, we've detected 500 of these um, bursts of radio radiation. Most of them are irregular. They burst once in a millisecond, and then they're gone forever. But recently, in the Chinese radio telescope, uh, they were able to show that their, their uh, bursts are periodic. And some people are saying, maybe, just maybe, there's a reason for that. You see, if you were an alien civilization and you want to have a coming out party, so to speak, wouldn't you want to advertise to the entire universe that you have come of age? And that's what these bursts of radiation can do. They will eventually permeate the entire universe. Now, if that sounds crazy to you, just realize that even on the Earth, astronomers about two years from now will celebrate the fact that 50 years ago we sent a message saying that we have come of age. Carl Sagan was the one who famously got this information together about who we are and they broadcasted it to the heavens so that some alien civilization will pick it up and perhaps encounter us and say, hi, we picked up your invitation for your going, coming out party. Interesting. Well, they you know, haven't shown any malicious intent so far, uh, whatever this is. Professor Kaku, I appreciate you coming on tonight. It's great to see you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.